Hello to all you suction lovers. Now, even though I'm recording and uploading this video on the 1st of April 2022, nothing I say or do in this video will be an April Fool's joke. Personally, I'm not a big fan of April Fool's Day and I'm not a big fan of companies that put April Fool's jokes on their Instagram or Facebook pages. It's just, personally, it's not professional. It's not the done thing. I've seen a few today. I've seen Nito, who make robotic vacuum cleaners, claiming that they've invented a robotic vacuum cleaner that flies. And there's probably a few others I can't recall at the moment. The biggest April Fool's joke that's been launched a couple of days too soon is Dyson's new headphones with the filter. Have you seen them? What are they called? I can't remember what they're called now. Here's a picture. And here's a picture of some of the prototypes. Um, a lot of people, and believe you me, they've had a lot of negative comments on their social media. A lot of people have mentioned it's April Fool's joke. I don't think it is, to be quite honest. Dyson have designed a pair of earphones with basically a couple of filters in the ears and a thing that covers your mouth and it's supposed to give you fresh air to breathe. I will not be showing you that on my channel. I will never buy anything if that is true and apparently it isn't an April Fool's joke. Can you believe it? I think hopefully the new Dyson purifying headphones will be a big flop like the Ford Edsel back in the day or Hoover's The One vacuum cleaner or the Sinclair C5. Absolutely appalling idea in my book but some of you Dyson fanboys will probably clamour to get them and be proud to wear them while you're shopping in your local Aldi. Now then, that's April Fool's out the way. It is Vacuum of the Month and unfortunately it's going to be a bit different this month, my, my, my sort of summing up of March, because basically I've only had about two weeks of March. Say Because, well, I've been ill for about a week. I'm just getting over a cold, as you might be able to hear from my voice. And also spent a week away in my caravan where I wasn't using the uh, Vorwerk Tiger. And to be quite honest with you, I've been cheating on the Tiger with other vacuums and I've been using a fair few different cleaners this month. Just, I don't know, because I fancied using them. That's why I don't measure out the dirt I've picked up because it was too restrictive only using one vacuum and I like to use different cleaners. And I've been in my storage unit recently finding old machines and thinking, oh, I'll have a go with that. So and I've got some cleaners out to show you in this video. So I'm not gonna be able to tell you much about the Tiger. I will be recording further videos on it, demonstrating it in action. In fact, I'm sorting out some old videos on my desktop computer where I demonstrate not the Tiger, but demonstrating the Volvec VK200 cleaning a mattress. Well, I use the Volvec VK200, but you could easily use the Tiger. It's the same fitting, just fits on the end of the hose. So let's have a bit, bit of a look at the Tiger, just see how much dirt I've picked up. Bear in mind, I haven't used it very much. The Tiger is not available in the UK anymore. It was available, it's covered in dust. It was available for a brief period in the UK and I was lucky enough to get one when it was on a Black Friday offer. You know, I think they're about 900 pounds or something silly like that for the basic unit without the attachments. And it's a little bit awkward to use, to be honest. I've used it, but even though it's fairly light, it doesn't pull, a la pull around very easily due to the fact it's only got two swivel casters. I think it's two at the front, I'll just check. Let's turn it off a minute. I'll take the hose off. And the hose makes it very awkward to use. It's so thick. It's like the Cebo um, D4 and E3. They're spoiled a bit by the thickness of the hose at the cleaner end. I mean, it gets thinner as you get to the handle, but it still makes it awkward. Yeah, it's, have, it's got two. I mean, they're very smooth, silent running casters, but then it's got two fixed wheels at the back. This cleaner would have been better 
with four of these casters because then it would have moved this way just moves for, you know just moves forward and you can push it back but like the Mila's that have four casters or three it'll you can just kick it out the way if you just you know if it gets in the way and it often does you can't with this one because of the, the fixed wheels at the back so I don't like that the uh, the power head really only works on minimum suction on this particular carpet on all the other carpets in my home and on my hard floor I can use it on automatic or you know higher um, I can use it on medium suction but only when I'm pulling the nozzle back so if I was to try and use the cleaner on medium or higher and push the uh, it's an EB400, push EB400, uh, EB400 nozzle forward, then it just cuts off. I'll, I can demonstrate that now, you see what I mean? But on the backward stroke, I can increase the power and pull it slowly back, and then I know I'm getting a bit of a deeper clean. It's got quite, uh, quite dusty in there. I like the machine, and I, I really only wanted it for all the extra things it can do, but as I said, I will show you all the extra things it can do the refreshing the carpets cleaning of the mattress um, i have used the sp600 a few times this is the hard floor attachment it's pretty good and if i reach over i oh, don't know why it's gone like that um i've used the uh, hd60 on my kitchen floor as well and i do like that nozzle but everything's very big my favourite uh, attachment, which is, I can't see where I've put it, but it's a dusting attachment with the brushes that you can have short or long. That is very good for dusting around Venetian blinds, um, lampshades. So I've used that quite a lot, actually. Now, so I'll just show you what I mean with this. Hopefully, I'll be able to demonstrate what I mean. Sorry, folks, I've just had to swap my camera over. I'm having technical difficulties. Uh, you might have heard the first part of this video in mono only. Ah, oh, I'm so annoyed. It seems that I've broken the camera. I thought it was the microphone. I've got a Rode. Don't buy Rode microphones, folks. Overrated. My Rode microphone has basically broken my camcorder because it, it will only record using uh, just one channel. I swapped it for another Rode microphone that I had and it still only works in one channel so it's actually a fault in the camera and it's due to the Rode microphone kept, kept falling off and pulling at the E a bit I stick it in so to speak so hopefully you can see me I'm using my downgraded camera hopefully the volume's better I do apologize I don't want to have to do another voiceover although that was quite popular where I, where I had to voice over that Electrolux video the last video I put up okay right what was I doing Let's try to show you. So on soft, hang on. It works fine on soft. Now on medium. Oh, it's, it's making a liar out of me now because it's working in medium. <laughs> it wasn't before. I think when I put it higher though. Well. Thank you. Well, it was earlier, folks, when it wasn't working. And maybe because I'm doing it a different way. I don't know. So I, have, I could use it in a higher setting. Oh, let's try it this way. Well, I can't move it in high. It was cutting out, but it was straining a lot. Anyway, I don't like it. This nozzle was repaired by Forverk and it came back all scratched. Um, and it's a bit temperamental on my kitchen floor. It's supposed to adjust. When you go onto a hard floor, it's supposed to lower the speed of the brush roll um, and lower a brush. And it shows this bit here go some carpet let's turn it on you see that's on the carpet setting well it changes to hard floor but I don't know if it's because I've got sort of a mock tile it keeps altering from carpet to hard floor as I'm cleaning my kitchen floor which is why on on my kitchen floor I tended just to fit this was better 
Um, let's have a look at the bag. There shouldn't be too much in it. The bag was completely empty when I started this vacuum of the month. Just they just I'll say it again, they're grossly, grossly overpriced. Okay, I've paid for this. I like it and it as a I could never sell it because I would lose so much money. I'd I'd feel aggrieved at selling it. But for other things, for above floor and for all the extra things it does, that's why, you know, I went for it. It's different. So well, you know. You can't win them all. Spending a lot of money doesn't always guarantee an excellent vacuum cleaner. The bags are very good though. And actually, there's a fair bit of dirt in that. It feels quite heavy. I don't know if we can see. I should be wearing some of those Dyson air, purif air purifying headphones for my demo, shouldn't I? If I was that silly. Yeah, it, it, I, I can't weigh it, but I'm surprised that, you know, there is a substantial amount of dirt in there, considering it's it's not been used that often. But the bag compartment does remain pretty clean, doesn't it? So the bags are good. It doesn't smell either. That's one thing I like about the kobolds, both this and the upright. The bags don't tend to have a musty odour about them. You don't have to put air fresheners in them, although there is an air freshener built into this one on the exhaust vent that does release a pleasant odour. But uh, even without the air freshener, I don't think it would smell. I've not fi found them to smell. So they are good bags, I'll give them that. But all in all, yeah, as I say, I haven't used it properly for the month because, as I said, I've only really been vacuuming just over two weeks, I've, I've whipped around with other machines because I've not been too well. So odd cordless cleaners have been brought out just to whip around the house. You need to be fit and healthy to use this, to, to be quite honest with you. Well, here's something you haven't seen for a long time. This Electrolux 355, I recently got this out of my storage unit, trying to get my storage unit empty because they've put the prices up as prices of everything are going up want to save myself a bit of money every month so I've been bringing some vacuums home some to sell some to keep some to refurbish and uh, among the vacuums I brought back recently was this Electrolux 355 and I don't think I've even looked at it since I made the first video I've not done anything to it I don't know if it still works just check it's got a bag in it uh, there is a bag doesn't seem to be very well fitted See if it works, shall I? Yes, I will. Yeah, so remember now that this uh, piece needs replacing. It's broken and it doesn't fit very securely. I've recently shown you that Electrolux, haven't I? This is uh, a later Electrolux to the 305. And even so, that video was uh, quite old. Oh, I'm getting a whiff out of it. Ooh, I think it's going to smell a bit, this one. Let's plug it in. Hopefully, folks, it's not going to blow up. It's been in storage. Oh, I can see the indicators come on. I don't think it's quite bright lights, but the green indicator light has come on here. The traffic light indicator. It smells a bit cigarette-y for some reason. Might have come from a, a house with smokers in it. Here's the head. An upgraded automatic head. Mm, it's a bit dirty on the underside. It's the one with the... Uh, it's on automatic at the moment, so it should automatically adjust for carpets or hard floors. Or you can have it fixed onto hard floors with the brush down. Or fixed to carpet with the brush up. So basically in automatic mode. I think the brush floats, although mm, it doesn't seem to be moving. I think that needs taking apart and... Uh, fixing it's probably caked in uh, fluff and dust in the inside of that it tends to stop these heads working let's see if it works folks oh, hard to push
Ooh, smelling a bit carbony. Who knows? Oh, what's that? Ooh, odd. Uh, yeah, it's smelling a bit carbony there, folks, and it's blocking off the end. Because when you restrict the airflow through a vacuum, for some reason, the motor runs faster when there's no air. Well, I suppose there's no um, air resistance or whatever, but when it's blocked off, the motor runs faster and then will overheat if you keep it blocked, unless it has a cutout. Um, so the motor was spinning probably faster than normal and then I'm starting to get a bit of a burny smell. So, yeah, that's one to look at later. I was recently asked if I was going to do videos of older cleaners I've shown previously and yes I will at some point once I've got a bit more sorted I will be showing some of the classics again but uh, new videos of them you're going to go in oh you're being awkward aren't you still got the old uh, cable going into the wheel there we are that's it good just like the old 305 look there we go, so that's um, the Electrolux Automatic 355. Pop that in the corner. Now this is a Dyson DC25. I'm not going to show you this going. This is an unused model. I have shown you one on my channel quite a while ago, an early video. But this is one I bought maybe a few years ago and didn't use. So I got it from eBay. I'm currently selling this. Uh, it's got the box, the instructions. It's basically as new. Look at the bin. It's new. I turned it on briefly just to check it was okay. So if you're after a more or less new DC25, bit of Dyson history. I think it was the second ball after the DC15. That's currently on my eBay page at uh, ibasix underscore emporium if you want that that finishes this sunday at the time we're making the video now this is my dyson trigger and i did a video of this because i bought this to use in my caravan now i'm buying a new caravan well a second hand but new to me caravan that's a bit bigger this served us well enough in our smaller caravan, but to clean the floors and the carpets, you had to get down on the floor because this is just a handheld. And also, another disadvantage, you're using the same head for the floor as I would to clean the beds and the sofas, so I don't want that. So I'm gonna select one of my other cordless machines to go in the new caravan. I've got an idea of a few I want to try out uh, they haven't been, even been featured on this channel yet, but there's one that I've got my eye on that might be suitable. You can use it as, you know, it's got a floor cup and floor nozzle and the wand, but it's also got a mini motorized tool. So, and it's also quite compact and light. So I'm thinking that might be suitable for the caravan. So I probably will sell this Dyson Trigger. Obviously it's got the other tools with it, but yeah, I did a separate video on this on my channel. Whoops. Shut up. Uh, this, I did make a video of it, but it didn't turn out too well. I don't know if it's a pink colour. Um, it looked really green, pinky green. So I never really uploaded it, but you've seen SIBO Automatic X7s on my channel, so nothing much different to see. It's just a girly pink pastel twist. So if you've got a pink house and you like a pink vacuum, one good thing about these, they do work on this carpet, which is why I liked using it. And this one, I did, get, I did use this actually on my other channel, Roger's Bits and Doings. I did a little cleaning montage of the living room and it featured this cleaner as well as the Tiger machine. That's on my other channel. But yeah, it's pretty good on a plush pile carpet. With this though, I have to press the boost button on the cleaner head.
So this is one of the few upright cleaners that's fine on this carpet and it's fine around the rest of my house. It's also okay on the kitchen floor. On the rest uh, of the carpets in my home they're much shorter pile but of course it will adjust, it will lower the head. Uh, it grooms well, it feels like it's doing a good job. I don't know how full the bag is. Oops, it's, oh, don't, sque don't squeeze the dust bag folks. Uh, yeah, so I'm pretty pleased with this for this carpet and uh, I think at the moment at the time of making the video this, some of these are on offer 20% off on SIBO's website I'm not paid to say that don't get anything free from SIBO but if you're interested I think this model the blue model and the mint green which I quite like the mint green one 20% off although buying direct from SIBO can often be expensive you can normally get them cheaper so yeah I like this machine it's traditional old-fashioned some might say but it's a good reliable upright so that's being used recently now I'm going to plug this in and try it um, this came out of storage I had two of these I sold one and I was going to sell this Hoover Freedom how many times have Hoover used the Freedom name? First time I think it was on the Freedom cylinder cleaners, wasn't it? And they've used it on this, they've used it on cordless machines. I'm gonna keep this though, I was gonna sell it. I've never tried it on this carpet. I'm keeping it because it sort of ties in with my pure powers because it does have a pure power chassis, basically. Similar to that Hoover Vortex I showed you. It's, it's got a much better cyclonic system though than the Vortex and it's, I think, as far as I remember, it's pretty good at uh, filtering the dust and keeping, oh look, oh what have I done? Look what I've done there, I've put a filter, Hoover, genuine Hoover, turbo power filter, not filter, air freshener. Yeah, it is pretty clean, I haven't used it much, but I do believe this uh, multi-cyclonic or air evolution technology is pretty good and I like the way it's got um, it, it reminds me somewhat of the Hoover Starlight and Junior Deluxe sort of you know the shape of the uh, bag housing I like the way that it doesn't look bagless from the front it looks like a bagged cleaner it's only when you turn it round you can see that it's bagless I'm gonna keep it I think I'll keep it for now anyway Right, I'll, I'll just give it a go on this carpet. I've put it on the highest setting. I don't know what it's going to be like. Where's the on-off switch? Oh, here. Ooh, it doesn't sound as nice as a SIBO. That's too high. I'm going to put it down to three. using this after using the SIBO what a difference but yeah even on the setting two it, you could hear the tone of the motor slowing slightly because it was bedding down deeper into the pile but it, it's it doesn't struggle I think this was empty getting all dirty yeah it's picking up stuff bits of uh, dust as well it's got a very good um, above floor cleaning system I think anyway you just press oh, this bit of dirt on there you just press this button and out pops the hose at the front I think that's marvelous because it is very long does reach up the stairs but the fact it comes out the front it's not going to topple like the SIBO. Why don't SIBO do something like this? That's, 
That would be brilliant. This is a stair cleaning hose and yet it's hidden. If SIBO could do that, SIBO could really do with a new upright, in my opinion. One that you can clean stairs without having to attach an extension hose to. But something of this sort of design, but SIBO quality, oh, that would be marvellous. But this does, you can stretch it right out. And it's not, it's not going to topple over. I think this is a very good design. You can't buy this cleaner anymore. It's got the turbo nozzle on the back that fits onto the end of this. This is your crevice tool that comes off, of course, and you can fit the turbo nozzle either to this end of the crevice tool or the end of the handle. You've also got a built-in dusty brush. A dusty brush there, look. This is the sort of second variant. This came out um, with a slightly different uh, floor head, which I did an old video of that on my channel. I preferred the older version. Tried to get it again after I sold it. Uh, that, that was the Evolution one that uh, was launched at the same time as the Hoover Slalom. But yeah, this isn't bad at all. I mean, crikey. Comes, comes to something, isn't it, when you're sort of saying a Chinese-made Hoover isn't bad. But uh, yeah, I've not really tried many of their later offerings since they are now completely Chinese, not only made in China, but they're owned by a Chinese company now, Hoover, in the UK. Used to be owned by Candy, the Italian firm Candy, but Candy were bought out by Heyer, completely Chinese. So if you want to support communist China, buy a Hoover. Uh, well, this is a bit of a different vacuum of the month, having a bit of a show and tell, isn't it? But as I said, I couldn't really tell you much about the uh, Tiger because I've hardly used it. So I thought, well, I'll do a bit of a show and tell. Somebody might watch. What else have I got? Well, this is another cleaner that has not been in storage, but he's been in the back of my wardrobe. And I got him out recently because I wanted to take him to the old caravan to give the old caravan a good vacuuming out, readiness for the uh, caravan dealer to come and have a look and offer us a trade-in. Now, unfortunately, the battery wasn't charged when I needed it because it, uh, I think the battery either loses its charge in storage or I put it away not charged up. But uh, both batteries for this, this is one I got free. This is, this is one of the earlier Henry Cordless. I don't know if they've changed, um, but I did get this free uh, from Pneumatic International when it was launched. And yes, it's got, it's nowhere near the suction of a corded Henry, but it is, it is quite fun to use. And on short pile carpet, it's pretty good. I think it's not too bad on this carpet. I'll put it in low setting first. So it does actually, because of the less suction, obviously I can push it. Try it on high. So on high because yeah, it's not going to have the power, but the head does work pretty well. It's a metal base. Now the thing is, I have a feeling, I don't know this to be a fact folks, I don't know if this is going to be upgraded or a new model coming out because it's out of stock for myhenry.co.uk or myhenry.com. And it's been out of stock for a while. I'm wondering if they're going to bring out a new version of Henry Cordless, but with the new digital motor that they're featuring on the commercial cordless version of this. It's not called a Henry, it's branded pneumatic, but it's got the same Henry face. It's a bit bigger, um, but their new battery system, they might be doing something. They might not put the new battery in this, but they might put a digital motor in this. Um, that's just me guessing. Last cleaner to show you. Well, in fact, before I show you the last cleaner that happened to be in storage, I'll show you this. And this is a clue to something I'll be featuring on my channel fairly soon. This is a pneumatic battery. I've recently bought another cordless pneumatic machine. 
and it obviously it does come with a battery and charger but I saw this spare battery on eBay for 55 pounds and it said it was brand new normally these batteries are about 270 something and I was a bit dubious because it just pictured the battery on its own when I received this today it was in its box it looks like it's unused it's the NX300 battery it's still very cold actually it doesn't seem to have been used so I've got a spare battery for a new pneumatic cordless cleaner that will be coming up um, it's got the instructions original box so if this works I've got a bargain there what I'm going to do when I actually unbox that machine on this channel I'm going to use this spare battery first and not use the one that came with the cleaner and see how well it holds up it's a fast charge battery it comes with a fast charger and it has longer running time than uh, the cordless Henry it has more power it's the new digital motor machine 350 watt motor as opposed to the 250 watt if you remember I also showed you another cordless commercial Henry type machine that uses a different battery so that will be coming up but I thought I'd show you that 55 quid plus postage if that works as it should I think that's a bargain because they should they're not normally that cheap and I'm always a little bit concerned if you if you get something that's too cheap you think mm, there might be something wrong with it and I did think that at the time that there could be something wrong with this but you always you get the money back guarantee from eBay so I wasn't too concerned but when this arrived today I thought oh that's quite good hopefully I've got a bargain right well the last uh, cleaner to have another look at something else I, I got out of storage something I won't be parting with because it's an American machine uh, not many people will be able to make use of this in the UK unless they've got a step down transformer but um, I thought I'd try it out actually I have used it upstairs but I've not this is the first time I brought it downstairs to use on this carpet because when I showed you this cleaner I think it was on a it was either a Thanksgiving I think it was a Thanksgiving or a 4th of July special for my American viewers when I showed you that it was on a my old carpet not this plush pile so I've got it on the high setting got to get my uh, box which I've been frantically searching for upstairs took loads of stuff out of my built-in wardrobes looked under my bed got more and more hot and bothered and then realized it was outside in front of me <laughs> but I thought no I've got to show it going because my viewers will have spotted it in the corner and they'll say why didn't you show that let's hope the uh, last time I put this on though got to be careful I uh, tripped the electrics it's a bit dodgy this box I think right so fingers crossed when I turn the box on all the lights won't go out they might do no they haven't just check it's going to work she works has she got a bag she's got a bag in her let's give her a quick go Wow, she really lifts the pile. That was on the high setting. I think anything lower, it might have been okay on the setting down. But it was lifting the pile, like the old fashioned Hoovers, lifting the pile on a cushion of air. There's no beta bars in this one. It's got the Hoover Act. 
activator, as you can see. And this is a Chinese made. I've got uh, one of the original USA made conquests in orange. That's on my channel. But this I did buy brand new, you can't buy them anymore. Somebody wanted me to sell it to them, but no. No way, Jose. Uh, it's awkward to use. Maybe this could be my new caravan vacuum, what do you think? That's as ludicrous as somebody suggested to me when I was picking a vacuum for my previous caravan, they suggested a Kirby. So that's about as ludicrous as using a Kirby in my small caravan as using this. Certainly shake the caravan to its very foundations, I think. I do like it. I've recently bought something. I'll do, do another video on this at some point because I've recently bought a bagless conversion kit. Yes, it's a bit dusty because it's uh, been in my wardrobe. But now we can use this lovely bagged vacuum, bagless using the dust cup. We got this dust cup on the Hoover Power Plus dust cup in 1984. It was launched in the UK and it hasn't changed at all. It's gonna stick, it does stick this because it's new. There we go. So basically this, it's just the cloth bag that you have to shake vigorously for the dirt to fall into here. And then empty it. Horrible way of emptying. I mean, I'm never gonna use it properly with bagless. It's, it may make a fun video, far better with a HEPA bag in it. But I saw this on uh, Amazon.com where I bought this from, USA Amazon. And I thought, oh, it'd be fun. And I've, I have tried it out, I have put this on. It does fit, it's pretty easy to fit onto uh, this machine to turn it into a bagless machine. But obviously, clearly, it is better with a bag. Okay, well, finally, it's time to reveal what I'm going to use for vacuum of the month. One of my reasons for picking this vacuum is for about two weeks of April, I'm going to be staying at my mum's house. So whatever vacuum I choose, I've got to take to my mum's. And to be honest, I think I'm going to punish myself this month, but I'll, 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 I'll make up for it next month and get to choose a vacuum that I really love. I'm going to use a vacuum that I really don't like. I didn't like it during the initial unboxing and first demo, but I'm going to use this awful. Vax Blade One Power. I can't understand the positive reviews for this. I've just got to glue part of it that's coming away. It did it in the demo. The little red velour strip was coming off, so I've just got to glue that down. And I'll give it the benefit of a doubt. I'm going to try and use this for a month. But I'm going to use this in conjunction with my Vax One Power Glide Hard Floor Cleaner as well. So I'll be taking that to my mum's. Plus another Vax machine that... Um, Hopefully I'll make a video of soon, the cordless spot cleaner. And I bought that purely. I got it um, refurbished from Vax and there was another discount. So it was about 60 something pounds instead of 150. So I got that purely to use in my new caravan in case one of the dogs has an accident or we need to pick up a muddy mark or something. And it was the smallest, most compact carpet washer I could see. Uh, it's cordless as you know it uses the same one power battery as uh, this and the glide so yeah I'm punishing myself folks but this is what I'll be using mainly not exclusively but mainly I'm gonna be using the one power blade 4 pet cordless vacuum well, hopefully I can sort out the microphone problem I've got with my other camcorder. It's too expensive just to get a new camcorder, so it might have to go to somewhere that repairs Sony camcorders. I'll have to go online and see if there's somewhere I can send it to. The only thing that's wrong with it, as I said, it's just the microphone input. There must be a short in it because, you know, things happen, don't they? Things get damaged. There's no way I'm buying a new camcorder for that. So hopefully this video has turned out all right. If it hasn't, you're still getting it because I haven't got the energy to make another one. Uh, <laughs> still not back to full health, but I'm getting there. But I'm absolutely whacked now. I think I need a, a lie down. So anyway, it's been a bit different this month for Vacuum of the Month. As I said, no jokes, 
nothing, no April Fools. Everything I've said in this video I think is 100% true, or it's my opinion, uh, which some of you may or may not agree with. So what do you think of my choice, folks? Glutton for punishment, or do you absolutely love your Vax Blade 4? A lot of people seem to like it, judging by the reviews. I'm not sure what planet they're on, but anyway, maybe I'll like it better after I've used it a lot more. But, um, I don't know. I like the idea of having a system where you can use the same battery and, you know, swap and change them. I like that idea. And there is a new, well, there's two new Vax uprights, both Hoover designs, or they're available as Hoover models in the USA. I think there's the Evolve cordless that's just been launched. And there's a new model, I can't remember the name, I've only just seen it today, a new, more full-sized Vax upright. Um, but it's at the moment, the time of making the video, it's £400, and there's no way I'm spending £400 on a Vax. I'll wait till it goes down, because it will. I'll wait till it goes to 200 on offer, or 250 or something. It's got to be a lot cheaper than £400 for me to buy one. But anyway, there we go. But at least Vax are producing a full-sized corded up, cordless upright. Looks similar to their corded ones. Why can't Dyson do that? It would be high time, really, Dyson offered us something along the lines of their light ball, small ball upright, but cordless version. That would be a good idea. Although, Dyson are pretty much, for me at the moment, especially with what they're launching. I could, I could not believe that was not an April Fool's joke. It might turn out to be. I don't think it is. I think they are genuinely going to launch a pair of headphones with a mouthpiece that is designed to filter the air you breathe. So thanks for watching this video if you've made it to the very end. Sorry it was a bit ad hoc and amateur, but you know, please forgive me. I'm not very well physically. I mean, I mean most of you know that I'm not quite well in the head, but that's coupled with me not being physically well at the moment. So I'm all, all a bit doolally tap. But anyway, most of us are in the old vacuum community. Most of us have a screw loose and I admit to having a screw loose. Several, in fact. So, thanks for watching. More videos will be done at some point this year on the Tiger and the other Fovec products I have. You'll see the results of this Vax on the 1st of May. Where is the... where is this year going? 1st of April already. And um, other vintage machines will pop up. You'll see my new Miele washer, incidentally. I love my new Miele washer. So far, mwah! Can't stop looking at it. <laughs> so uh, there'll be more washing machine action coming up for you washing machine fans. And for the first time on this channel, I'll be showing you a newly acquired vintage-ish washing machine. Don't know if it's going to work. I might have to fix it up. But that might be something for you washing machine fans to tune in for. So until then, till the next video, thanks very much for joining me. Please join me again for the next video. Thumb up and subscribe and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.